Namaste beautiful yogis, today we are doing a class with the hipster carrier carrying a baby full body full uh, full body class yoga and a little bit of heat with a baby I will be using the hipster baby carrier today because I'm going to Europe and I'm looking for a carrier that's gonna be very good on the back for for a busy schedule for someone that's gonna be walking through Europe so that's what we're doing today. We're conditioning the body for baby carrying. And I have a giveaway. I have this exact baby carrier that I'm giving away. It's brand new, used to answer the class. I'm giving it to one of you for um, my giveaway. So if you're subscribed to my channel, just write in the comments below what other postnatal classes you want to see from me with this carrier and uh, you will be entered. So we'll begin. Standing comfortably, paying attention to our posture. I really want you to bring your attention to your posture. So roll the shoulders back and down. That will help you to carry your baby all throughout your day. Pull the belly in and up so that your core is engaged. Lifting, lifting the arches of your feet. And whenever you can, be barefoot. Really, it really pays off to align you properly. All right, let's begin by opening the arms out, lifting the hands over the head, reach back, great. From here, we're going to take the right leg, step it back into high lunge, and we're going to go one, two, lowering the knee, three, four, and five, step it forward. Opposite side, one, two, three, four, and five, Step it forward. Take a big step out into a plie, but not a full plie, which would be here, kind of in between squat and plie. And we're going to, guess what? Groove the hips. All right, grooving the hips in figure eight. Woohoo! Right, baby? Now you can wear this carrier baby facing in, but I figure for the class we'll both face you because she likes both features. So grooving the hips figure eights with the hips pressing into the outer and inner edges of the feet. Let's open the arms out, take the hands over the head, clasp the fingers, steady your stance here. Core stance, reach over to one side, very important for mamas. Over to the other side, ooh, feels so good, right, bloody? From here, left arm reaching up, right arm by your side. Either clasp your hands if you can reach, just far enough to grab your hands, just grab your shirt. Stretching the shoulders. Let's change sides. This is a postnatal interval yoga. All right, from here, we're gonna get a little more serious about it. Take white squat and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Popping the booty back is very important for your back. Last one. So we're coming to the front of the mat if you're using a mat or two hour stands, equal standing. Take your right leg off the floor. From here, we're going to inhale the hands over the head. Exhale in prayer position over baby. And we're gonna go into warrior three, straight back. Level your hips. Did you think this was cool, Lodi? From here, we are going to grab the leg behind us and extending the knee down, tailbone extends down. We're stretching. We're stretching the hip flexor, which is very important to release your back. All right, since we're working on the back, preventing pain, flex your foot and bring your ankle right above your knee. Sit back here, straight back. This is opening the hip. Wow, baby is being still in your carrier. All right, opposite side. Inhale your hands over the head. Exhale, either in um, prayer position or you can just hold the baby. Whatever baby wants. All right. Warrior three, level the hips. What do you think, mama? Coming up. Coming up. 
Standing on the right leg now, we're going to grab the ankle and extend the knee down, stretch the quadriceps. From here, we are going to stretch the left hip. Sit back, press your booty back and feel that. Feel that hip glute stretching. All right, let's go into a little interval about taking the left leg out and kicking the back leg behind you. Cross back lunge and then kicking. So we're engaging and working on the body. So let's go one, two, three, four, and five, and opposite side. Let's go one, two, three, four, five and step into plie a little more groovy hips let's turn the right knee out straighten the left leg warrior two reverse the warrior and side angle opposite side warrior two left knee leading reverse that warrior and side angle that's a serious workout with the baby and from here you are going to come back to your come back to your groovy hips groovy mama hips 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 and the carrier is hipster so there is quite a bit the hip theme here all right let's include the arms and begin Reaching the arms out, pushing the hands out. Still in your plie, we're working on the legs, as usual. From here, we are going to take one knee to elbow and change. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we'll come into a low squat. That's yogic squat. Make sure that your back is straight here. You can reach with the right hand out, left arm up, and change sides. Really opening the chest, drop the shoulders away from you. Good, hands behind you, sit onto your booty, Toes of the feet together and we are stretching. So from here, we're going to interlace the fingers behind us, press the hands behind and come into a chair pose. Excellent. Let's bring the left knee out, standing on your right leg. Open the right arm out. Either stay here or open. She's ready to go to bed, I think, aren't you? Yep. And opposite side. Opposite side. From here, we are going to open the arm out, open the leg out. Mm -hmm, mama. And step it back down. A few more groovy hips. Bring your hands behind you, hands interlacing, fingers interlacing so that you can open the chest. The good thing is, that this really opens the chest and relieves any tension, pressure or anything from your day. And you can do it while carrying your baby. Working on the hips, opening the hips. This realigns the hips as well, strengthens the legs. Let's reach side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine and ten hands behind your head press the elbows back open the chest up thanks for joining us today namaste she fell asleep she did um you need a better ending though okay I, i'll do another pose for ending after that And 
from here we're gonna straighten the legs reach over to one side take a mellow triangle so baby keeps sleeping <laughs> she's comfortable in here opposite side so baby keeps sleeping now support her head you can reach up straight back please open that top hip externally rotating that top hip great side to side lunges it's the interval portion of the class one two three straight back popping the booty back by popping i mean you're really reaching with your booty back so your knees back a few more of those working on the posterior posterior chain pulling the belly in and up And that concludes today's session. I hope you enjoyed it. If you feel very energized, you can do the whole class again. We are going to finish with a quick gratitude meditation with your baby. As long as your baby allows, you can stay for a moment and just visualize your hearts forming one heart. You can bring your hands over your heart and over your baby's heart. Inhaling into your heart. Expressing gratitude for this moment. And post in the comments below to be entered what kind of class you would like to see me do next. And I'll see you soon. Namaste.